father who both served as presidents of the United States. That has to mess with your head just a little. But luckily, <laughs> these two had each other to help figure things out. Please welcome the co-authors of the new book, Sisters First, Jenna Bush Hager and Barbara Bush. Oh, <laughs> and I'm I have, body double. I know, and but people wonder on social media about why we call each other body double. Yes. People think that Jenna and I look alike on air, so when we worked at the same place, they could never tell us apart. Which really? we liked. I mean, which we do, love. Who doesn't uh, want to look like Sarah? I was uh, uh, honored uh, uh, to be the body double. Sorry, uh, twin. No threat there. I think um, <laughs> But um, we want to see, first of all, this book, any... I am a friend. I am go back with Jenna a little bit. I mm -hmm. learned so much about you guys in this book. It's a love story not only to each other, mm -hmm. which was your intention, mm -hmm. but I think it's a love story for families and how you can disagree and you can still like choose each other first, like mm -hmm. your parents, your grandparents. It, I just a lot of a lot of crying but also a lot of laughing mm -hmm. in this yeah. book. Mm -hmm. But um Thanks. we want to start by seeing if you can give us some DC inside scoop. Yes. <laughs> now, Jenna, you didn't know the answer to this earlier in the week because I asked you. Yes. But <laughs> last weekend, while President Clinton was speaking at hurricane, the hurricane fundraiser, your dad was standing behind him and whispered mm -hmm. something that made <laughs> President Obama <laughs> lose it. Yo, no. I just, the thing is with my dad, I'm always like, Dad, do not go viral. You know? like, and he's like, what does viral mean? And I'm like, like, for example, do not put the poncho over your head. <laughs> he just can't help himself. I, we do know. We know what he said. What did he what say? Did he say? Mm. I hate to say we, we know uh, because we, know, but we, we can't, can't talk about it. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, but is it as funny we'll as it looks? tell you when we're off the air. Is it? Oh, my God. Is it, is it as funny? Yes, it it's must not be a racy. No, no, no. no. It's First not of all, racy. I love that poncho moment. Just it's FYI. It's my favorite meme. It. It just, I don't know. It, I thought it was so we endearing. Have I don't know. Can look it up. Yeah, I think mean, he so. really wrestled with that. It was a lot. I don't know who won it. But, but by the way, I was like, Dad, you know, it's the inauguration. People will be watching you. Just just don't do anything. Yeah. And he couldn't help himself. I love that. <laughs> he was the president. And the daughter's like, come on, Dad, don't embarrass him. <laughs> well, talking about your father, um, he hasn't really spoken out that much since he left office. But last week, we did see him return to politics politics to talk about the current state of the country. Um, and I, I just thought it was incredible, oh, an incredible moment. It, was, it really was. to see him again. Yeah, it was an incredible moment. He was so strong. Um, why do you think he chose to do it at this time? Well, he has been purposefully out of the media yeah. and really has not spoken about um, any politics in our country. But he was given the chance to give a speech then. And mm -hmm. everything he said is not anything that he didn't say when he was president, mm -hmm. which is pretty interesting. He's very values driven. He's very much knows who he is, which has been lucky because we know who he is. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's interesting is everything he said now seemed different because it's such a different time time and a different yeah. context in which he said it. Yes. So we were really proud of him, but not surprised at all because that's how we've always known him. Mm -hmm. He's just steady. He's steady as can be, even though he's spunky. <laughs> <laughs> steady and spunky. Steady as a rock. Um, so steady that I wake up to a text message from him every single morning Aww. at the same exact time. Oh, wow. Uh, I Which, write this by the in way, the book. I don't. <laughs> I'm like, does that say something about me? <laughs> just kidding. No, <laughs> it just says that he's a steady little rock and he's. He started because I was broken hearted once oh. and he would call me every day to check on me and then he just never stopped oh. Oh, reaching wow. out every day. So wow. that's the sweetest. The cutest. That. Mm. One of the interesting things to watch is this sort of renewed love for your father. Mm -hmm. Even Joy says she misses yes. him oh, on the nice. show. Yes. 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 Yeah. She says it on air is and off air. coming to an end? <laughs> 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 but is that strange for you? Because I know it's strange for me to have people be sort of nostalgic for different kind of Republicans. Mm -hmm. Is it weird for you? Well, first of all, our dad admires your father so much, oh, so I'd you. be remiss if I thank didn't. You. Thank you. <laughs> and we admire your dad. We spent you. some time with him. Thank you. Uh, over the years, and he's them. hilarious. Thank you. Um, um, and your grandmother is a true American treasure. Oh, She's so <laughs> wonderful. The times I've spent with her, I think people don't see how funny right? and charming she is. And you yeah. can't <laughs> get on her bad side because then she'll be the enforcer. Uh, she's <laughs> lovely to me. Okay. <laughs> Good. She, um, but no, I mean, it doesn't surprise us because as Barbara just said it's who we've always known he is but it feels good of course mm -hmm. yeah yeah well good.
does, I'm sure. Now, um, because you're part of the Bush dynasty, you know, you've had a grandfather and a father in the White House, um, people think that they know you, they feel that they know you, especially you, Jenna, because you're on television mm -hmm. every day. Um, what do people say when, when they actually meet you? Because people will say to me, you know, you're so much thinner in person. Oh, yeah. I'm like, thank oh, you so that. much for that. That's not a compliment. No, <laughs> it's not. I hear that too. Um, I, well, people will say to <laughs> us, like, y'all are so normal. And and it, it wow. that feels like a compliment. That yes. is a compliment, but it's also like, aren't we exceptional? Yeah, we're like, we're <laughs> <extra, laughs> <we're laughs> incredible. Oh, That's kind of what we're like. <laughs> but of course, we're normal, and we write a lot about this in Sisters First too. Yeah, our mom's parents uh, live in Midland, Texas, and y'all, no one here probably has ever heard their name. And um, while on the flip side, our dad's family has an airport named after them, and right. so we grew up in Texas with just an extremely normal life and that mm -hmm. was our life and then our dad ran for president when we were in college so yeah um, oh, look it's kind of two different lives <laughs> it was the before and after <laughs> <laughs> by the way this picture kills me because i feel your pain right? i also was dressed up in american flag crap my entire <laughs> life and it's really embarrassing <laughs> I I well, that I picture find was it. actually on <laughs> awkward family photos yeah. <laughs> because not awkward. <laughs> you guys talk a lot about um the different sides of your family but one thing i found interesting is you talk a little bit about sometimes the distance you had with your mom as mm. twins can well, we write about how mother-daughter relationships can be complicated. I mean, always are. Yes. That yeah, that and, but and we adore our mom. Yes. Um, but as a little girl, I was a tomboy, and so I think my dad understood. And I think I have my dad's sense of humor a little bit. So <laughs> totally they got, you know, they he got me a little bit more. But my mom was an only child. The infertility is run on our maternal side um, for three generations at least. And so, um, and so, I feel lucky to have two little girls. Mm. Um, adorable little girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so our mom, the inverse, the opposite of being an only child is to have twins, twins. who just wow. are together yeah. all the time. And, and we all, always made each other feel like enough, but we also gave each other permission to act like naughty. a nut. <laughs> naughty. Yeah. And, and, that was and she kind of only always wanted a sibling. Oh, she yeah. did. And she loves having twins. She felt like there was something really beautiful of each of my parents having one child to hold. Although you've been the yeah. private twin, right? You the elusive. Private, Bush elusive <laughs> twin. Is yes. there something really the embarrassing twin. about her that you would tell us about? Huh. Well, I mean, now's the moment. Well, um, <laughs> there's nothing that embarrassing to tell about you. Um, no dirt? Not, uh, not that I can think of yet, although she did just sweat a little I bit. Mean, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up well, <laughs> but you blow dried it and took I care. I blow dried it five minutes ago. And, that. <laughs> but and see, without a twin, these stories would never I know. be told. And, yeah, and that's perhaps why I'm more brave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did try to set her up with Prince Harry. Everybody knows this on television. And she did. Yes. I had a boyfriend. It didn't go over well. <laughs> <laughs> but I also understand there's a maxi pad story. Oh, We're yeah. going with embarrassing well, that's about stories. Her, luckily, yeah. Thank my you. cousin told <laughs> me. Sure. My oh, cousin told me that that was a sweat absorption product, which, as we know, they're not. I walked <laughs> down at five years old, and my grandfather was having a steak dinner. <laughs> she walked with down the head of China. Bag. Like this, with the head of China, like this with some maxi pads, which Barbara could have used today. I mean, had they worked, I would have been sitting backstage with them on right now. <laughs> Don't try it at home. Um, a huge thank you yeah. to thank both you of you so guys. Much. You're lovely. This book is so amazing. The book is called Sisters First, and members of the audience are going home with a copy. Oh, okay.